Oh yeah, we back, Universal TV with Audit in America and Demand the Truth, another amazing audit. Enjoy the music by Third Eye Indigo and I'm going to let you guys enjoy the vid. Perfume. Thank you. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah. Thank you. It's white diamonds. Yeah. Aww. Come on, guys. Let's go. This is ex oh wow. This looks amazing. Look at this. This lady was so nice. I appreciated her so much. At this moment, I don't know what to expect or what we were walking into. I was as excited to be there. For March to July, the POC received over 500 requests for supplies from local governmental entities. The report on the slide on the screen showed the number of personal protective equipment, or PPE, the EOC procured from March through July. However, I'm proud to update you with the most recent figures today. From March to September, the EOC procured and distributed more than 2.8 million masks, 11,000 gallons of hand sanitizer, and hundreds of thousands of other items. Moreover, IDHS staff has driven more than 15,000 miles to deliver the items to, to Hoosier first responders. Thank you. 
department to monitor EMS PPE levels by expanding its existing IT system so EMS providers could report their PPE numbers. IDHS monitored the dashboard and worked with organizations when their PPE levels became critically low. Next slide, please. In addition to current agency authority, Governor, Governor Holcomb's executive orders greatly enhance IDHS's ability to respond to COVID-19. While the report describes in greater detail the impact executive orders have had on the IDHS operation, I want to highlight a few notable examples. Executive Order 20 04 allowed governmental bodies to be electronic. This allowed important state work to continue while also practicing social distancing guidelines. As a result, IDHS has held more than a dozen public meetings electronically, including the Fire Prevention and Building Safety Commission and the Secured School Safety Board. Executive Order 20-05 granted agencies the authority to waive, suspend, or modify existing rules where enforcement would be detrimental during a public health emergency. On April 7th, morning. It doesn't say Did private office on there. Guys. Okay. Did you take a note to the Constitution? Who are you? Who are you? You're, you're approaching me. No, 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 you approached me. No, no, you came out of that, that, that room, correct? You spoke to me. Yes, I'm, ask, I'm asking questions here. What's your name? What's your name and badge? What's your name and badge? Are you a cop? Because I'm going to speak to the supervisor. But that's not the way that you, that you treat the public. If, 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 I don't know what happened. I'm asking. Well, I, I, I can tell you. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all can I have your name and badge number? No, I, 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 I want to know, know what's going no, on. I, I want to know who I'm talking to. I want to know. I, you haven't displayed any information. I want to know what's going on. I this know what's going on. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Okay. This gentleman, is, this gentleman right here, is walking around the public building, and instead of asking him politely, there's no sign on that door. The door is wide open. He's walking there. Instead of asking him politely, he comes up and attempts to grab him. Then you come out and yeah, I ask you. Yeah. Hey, how are you, sir? Hi, how are you? Yeah. Excuse me. Hold on, sir. No, 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 no. Hold on, sir. No, 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 you need, you need, you need to be quiet. Because I don't need to be in Yes, you do, you work for us. Hey, hey, hey guys, man. nobody's giving anybody demands. No, yes, okay. we are. Yes, we are. We're not giving you demands. We demand, no, we demand the truth. We demand the truth. And we demand respect. Like Sarah We demand respect. You guys want respect. respect. We have done nothing wrong. We're not suspecting okay, doing anything. Okay, listen. Hold on, hold on, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk first. 
You're not going to tell me what to do. You ask me a question, I'm going to answer. I didn't ask you a question. Are you a public servant? I'm going to yes, tell you one more time. Servant? And you also need masks. Is Where, that like a matter of In this building? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, let me show you. Come here. Everything. I don't want anything. Yeah, we walked in with no mask. They didn't even stop us. So you asked me a question. So no. Lieutenant Scott Beeman, thank, thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so are you in charge of this guy? I'm coordinating the security for the state capitol. Okay, okay. Wow. Let me tell you something. Hold on. Let me speak. Yeah, one at a time. You have to be courteous and professional. Okay. Maybe you're going to do my work for the benefit. Let me speak. I'm sorry. Please. Bro. You have to be courteous and professional. You're a police officer, right? You're supposed to identify yourself. You're not wearing a, 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 a name tag or anything, right? You approach me in a wrong way and you know it. So I'm beating you. Okay? You said you're supposed to be nice to people. This is the you people who be able to do anything. If that, if that room is private, you shouldn't be in that room. Don't open it. Okay? Because we're doing a self guided tour. We're walking around. We, have, we absolutely have the right to be here. We have no right to say, oh, sir, sir. Did I touch you? You got too close. Did I touch you? Hold on. You got too close. You know what? Hold on one minute. One at a time. We can come I agree. Well, then you're not going to get any answers because well, what this gentleman was saying is accurate. You have a right to be in it, but there's rules and there's policies. So I, so I agree with what you said. These are offices, right? They have access codes only. So those people have the right to be in there. Joe Public doesn't have a right to go in there if it's closed. But you, had a, you have a point, what you were saying. We're so one at a time. We're not really concerned about being asked because we understand private rooms. We understand that this is the public's house. And we pay for the up we, we pay for the employees. But we also do understand it's a private room. We travel across the country. Sure. Right. We're a little more upset about the group. We we go and spend every state house here in the country. And we've never had somebody attempt to grab us. If you want I didn't insist to grab you. Have to no. have no. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So anyway, go ahead with the So I don't know. If you want to How many times did I say sir? Well, I don't right. know. Well, hold on, hold on. I didn't touch you. You guys walked down on your own, so there's no issue, sir. There we are. Because, here, I can explain that quite easily. Okay. He's a sheriff of the Supreme Court. He is responsible for the Supreme Court employees. Okay. That's very simple. Okay. So, for, hold on a minute, so I can explain. Yes, but. So for him to be able to say, whoa, 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 or whatever, he didn't grab, you didn't tell me that, he didn't grab, he didn't grab you, that is not assault, but he is the sheriff of the Supreme Court. He, he is, is responsible. He pulled away. He is responsible for well, that. What I, so, I, would, I would retort to you respectfully, sir, is sir. what he is responsible for is, yes, the Supreme Court, but ultimately, every public servant takes an oath to the Constitution. That is what your ultimate responsibility is to, and to upholding and protecting our constitutional rights. The Supreme Court... And you have that. We do. And we, you came in this building, yes, right? And you're walking around, yeah. and you're enjoying but, the building. But, but we're walking yeah, around. My, right main is my main concern is three officers here. One who won't identify themselves. We have three officers across from us for exercising the First Amendment right. I mean, I would expect this. Yeah, I'm not going to do it to you guys. I just came out and asked you. You read a constitution. Without you identifying yourself, mm -hmm. I asked you, so you, I said, what's going on? Can you describe what's going on? Hey guys, hey guys, let's just stay focused right here. Let's try to find out there what's going on. Let's just say, so if you got questions, I will say this, as I've said before. You have the right to enjoy the building. That's great. There's rules and there's policies. We're going to do it the proper way, right? Respectful way. Sure. And there are areas where you are not allowed. Absolutely. Plain and simple. Absolutely. So if you have an issue, hold on. If you have an issue, then you come see me. I'll tell you. I am you. here for the past several years. We have people that come here, especially legislative time, that oppose different things. That's great. Mm -hmm. If you ask those people, they'll know who exactly I am. And number one thing is, I always try to respect people's opinions. I appreciate that. That's Whether good. I agree, disagree, it doesn't matter. You have the rights, but here's what I'll say, and I say it to all four of you folks, just like I've said it to everyone else, is we're going to go about it the proper way, respectful way, right? 
I am one, and you could ask most all the protesters who have been in this building for the last several years. They know me, that I respect people's opinions. But we got policies and rules, and we'll go about that. And if you have an issue, and that's the reason why you're in here, you just come see me. Sure. That's, that's the reason that's we're here. We, we, we're, we're, this is what we're doing. We do private investigative journalism, mm -hmm. and we go around the country making sure our public employees, our police officers, our governor, sure. our, all the public workers are courteous and professional. That's what sure. we're trying to find out. If the first approach is courteous and professional, if you see something that you need to say something about, you have to be nice. Okay? Well, this and is, I, this I is don't have, don't work, I don't have, have any business. Issues. Well, hold on one second. You don't have your own business. I don't, I don't, I don't have, have any issues. issues. I've been, I've been doing, doing this for 32 years. years. So, if you guys are here, to enjoy the building. Beautiful. That's some of the best things in the world. We have people from all over to come to the Capitol. If you're here, whether it's today, tomorrow, whenever, if there is an issue, if someone is trying to stop you from expressing yourself in an orderly manner, is this they, they Yeah. Now, okay. I have one point of contention. Oh, sure. In an orderly manner. When specifically does the First Amendment stop? Well, I'll tell you, as far as this building, there's several things in there. It's all posted on a website from the Department of Administration. And I'll give you an example. Generally speaking, it is during session. It is if people are in here and they're demonstrating in a loud manner that is just not realistic for people to do their business, people in the office, then we ask them, please lower, lower it down. You, you could have a certain size sign but it's regulated. You can't have sticks. Uh, you can't have amplifiers because what was ended up happening a couple of years ago is the amplifiers were so loud that people, as you guys just came from over there, you couldn't even hear the speaker. And all people, no matter whether you agree, disagree, or you're against whatever law they're talking, you have the right to hear. Just like you guys were saying, you have a right to ask for an appointment to speak to a legislator and present your views. And I take personally that that is everyone's right. It is everyone's right to be able to hear what is going on or see what's going on. You know, we're very unique. I think you guys are today that you are actually in the chamber when there's a committee here. Well, it's a, that is beautiful. It's, mm, that's yeah. how it should be. And everything. And if you travel, here. if you go all over, that's not the case in a lot of states. That is, that just flat isn't the case. But that was great. I even saw a legislator come up to you and mm -hmm. was explaining yeah, something. She was awesome. And, and she's, she's a super lady. She, she's amazing. And um, I, 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 TV I, baby. I, oh yeah. 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 yeah and I will ask you of this. And, and maybe I, I, you I, don't. Universal. That's what you heard. SOL baby, Universal I TV. I understand. I, I disagree with you on that, but I do agree with not having the empire. You know that that would be um, problematic. What you were saying, my apologies. No, and I don't know if you have them, but on every entrance there is. I mean, if you don't have them, I can provide you. But we ask you to wear it because our governor in the state of Indiana is. It's a mandatory mask. Anytime you're around or in a public place, you won't see an employee in here without a mask unless they're in their offices. But that's our state law. Our state law says, hey, if you're in an office and you're not close enough to it, you don't have to wear it. How do you it feel about the government it. telling you what to wear, what not to wear? I don't get We're it. Medicaid. You know, here, here's, what I, here's what I would say to you. It's not my job to make the laws. It's my job to go ahead, whatever the legislators were. Sure, I would, I would, I would, but you you I have would, a right to disagree or I would whatever. Have to disagree with you. I want to say sure. one more thing before we get on the guy your tour no, here. here. Um, the, the police are supposed to be a bulwark of safety against unconstitutional acts. So we don't just have a tyrant like a King George or a governor that could do whatever. Police not, um, not, not knowing the law is no excuse. And the Constitution is very simple. So the Constitution says very clearly we have the right to freedom of speech, we have the right to worship, we have the right to press. And when it's it's, it's not like a color of law thing when you're seeing churches shut down. That's fundamentally anti First Amendment. Curfews, fundamentally anti First Amendment. When you have uh, Nazi checkpoints, that's 
fundamentally anti-Fourth Amendment and so forth. So there's a lot of things that shutting down businesses that's fundamentally well, anti-American. So it's not some I understand, but at the same time, when you guys are given orders, it is your duty taking that oath to the Constitution to not follow uh, unconstitutional laws. Thank you, gentlemen. You guys All right, guys. Hey, and if you would, if you are, I could give. You. Well, that, that's that's so I'm medically accepted. I got you. Cool. Yeah. Well, then I ask you this. If, if you're around the employees, we'll stay or six feet. anyone in there, we'll, we respect them. Like, we'll okay. Them. And we'll if you guys them. have an issue, I mean, enjoy. See the building. Repeat it. Repeat it. Come sing it. Lieutenant Scott Lee. Everyone in this building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Right, I zoomed in on it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for being professional and courteous. No hard feelings, man. Yeah, no hard feelings. We're just, we're just trying to make sure everyone's professional. Right. If you need something here, Lieutenant Beeman. Thank you. Lieutenant Thanks, Beeman. Oh, yeah. And this is why Will Turbin and Mr. America do what they do. interaction in the public building they say hey you can't go in there there was no sign that said it was private the door was wide open and instead of asking him politely or to me, he went out and tried to grab me who are you i don't know what you're supposed to do but started out as a really negative interaction but after we politely talked with them we understood that we're on the same page and actually we probably schooled them and taught them a few things that they didn't know and that's exactly why mr america does it like share and subscribe mr universal